Hello YouTube. Here's my Cajun Commander airboat. It's been pretty miserable here. It's actually we've been getting snow which we really don't get that often so I haven't had a chance to get it down the water. Figured I'd take it out and run on some snow. Well the following morning it kind of got iced up on top so it was like a, a sheet of ice for this thing to run on and uh, wouldn't you know it you know it's the first run for the thing and not running one before you know I didn't know you had to have the power on when you turn the thing you just can't shut the power off and try to make a turn it just keeps going straight you've got to have the power on to hit these fins back here to uh, uh, hit these fins back here to do like a power turn for it so needless to say here's what happened and I've already started taping it up to get it fixed but you can see there's a fair chunk of plastic now this actually cracked yeah it's hard to see but the crack goes all the way out missing pieces here let me just throw this up and it cracked all the way down where you see the tape down at the base of the boat so you know it is just a thin very thin plastic outside it was probably about 28 degrees and you know that stuff gets brittle so what I've done so far is I went ahead and removed that had 12 or 10 LEDs up front. I've gone ahead and removed the buckets and the brackets and pulled the LEDs out. Uh, what I want to do is I got the tape. I'm going to cover up this crack and support these cracks here. And I'm going to shoot expanding insulation foam throughout this whole this whole front right here um, the nice thing about insulation foam is after it dries it's pretty lightweight but I think what it's gonna do is it's going to go ahead and not only fill this gap because it's just a hollow gap uh, but it's gonna give it actually a little bit more support for those front bump encounters now I did go it was skidding along pretty fast when it hit the fence and obviously that's what happened um, but I think if there was a foam or rubber in here you know it would have been half the damage uh, that occurred but you know you could be out on the water and hit a rock or a limb just under the water and get the same kind of problem so I think putting the foam in here is going to be an asset I'm gonna go ahead and tape over this tape it down firmly and I'll probably just run the, the nozzle through these two holes right here where the wires are going in and just go ahead and just fill it all in and then anything that pushes out I can trim it off um, and I got some thin plastic then I'm gonna go ahead and sheet I'll sheet the top and then I'll sheet the bottom back pretty far um, you know obviously to cover all the cracks but uh, that's the best way I can think of to fix it right now. So we'll uh, give it a shot and I'll just update it as the progress goes. All right, YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be in the process of going ahead and starting this repair. I've got uh, just some basic Walmart great stuff, expanding foam. I'm going to go ahead and shoot it and it's going to be all through the front here. And it should help firm it up, plus give me some base when I do this repair with some um, styrene that I have uh, this will give me something to push against but anyway I was gonna pull off the lights all together that were on the front of this thing I really just they didn't do anything for me I kept the two that were on the back where the motor is because they looked 
good. Now, I did decide to put four lights back on. They come preset up on this little bar. The lights come wrapped. There's actually five lights. It was two sets. So it was ten lights up front, and they're already pre-wired and twisted and everything. So what I decided to do is pull one of the LEDs off. So we have four, and I'm gonna run four right up front, kind of like that. Um, and I'm pretty happy with that. So that's my plans. I went ahead and I drilled a hole right here. I'm going to solder on an extra length of wire to these, and I'll pull it up through this hole here. And then I'll trim back whatever I need, and then I can solder these two groups back on to the LEDs and bring them into here. Um, you know, last time they came out of these holes, the wires were kind of like dangling out there. It just didn't look very good. So in doing this, I'm hoping I'm going to clean it up a little bit, plus cut down on some of the lights and I know it's a flatbed airboat or flat bottom airboat and the whole thing is Louisiana the south gator hunting um, you know and I get that it just didn't do it for me so I'm just gonna you know I've already crashed it so I'm gonna go ahead and modify it and kind of set it up the way I want I'm not really too keen on this this camo um, paint job either so you know I don't know what I'm gonna do there there could be another video who knows but anyway just kind of updating you I am gonna redo these wires coming out of a new hole I drilled into four of the bucket lights on the front of the boat all right so there we have it you can see I've got the wires now coming up two for each side beautiful I'm going to go ahead and shake this can of foam here. <clears throat> Boy, I hope this is going to do what I think it's going to do. See, it's coming out of the hole, so I hope we have a good. I guess I can make a little slice right here. Make sure we've got some here. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it looks like it's doing what I wanted it to do, and I'm hoping. It's going to expand and fill in this front end here and just firm it up. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get my wires pulled back out, so I'm hoping I'm good. And I think I will be. I think I'll be just fine with both my, both my setups here. Yeah. There'll be a little bit more wires sticking up than... I actually need you can kind of adjust that a little bit right here I can work with that <clears throat> Ooh, it's sticky stuff sticky, <laughs> sticky stuff all right well I'm just gonna let it do what it's doing let it dry overnight We'll come back and take a peek, and then I can start putting the plastic <laughs> styrene and repairing these big cracks we got here. So, stay tuned.